Hello YouTube, welcome again to Channel 48. How are you doing on this Saturday evening? It's dark outside and the weather is kind of not so cold. So uh, those that want to go to a party tonight could do that. And yeah, but what is nicer than bringing you the message that I have here for you, Android 10 for your Samsung S4, but as well, for the Samsung Galaxy mm, S5. Welcome again. So, yeah, Android 10, Android Q for the Samsung Galaxy S4, as well for the Galaxy S5. <clears throat> I was very happy to read today that developer side of the GDC team, you know, GDC team, side, the developer that as well, you know, works together with these guys. He's the first worldwide to come out with Android 10 for the Samsung Galaxy S4. And you know what's the most beautiful thing of this all? He will support this phone for at least one more year. When was this thing created? I cannot even remember. It was left behind on Android 5? Or was it Jellybee or KitKat? I can't even remember. So let me bring you a little bit closer and let me show you what you will get. And um, before you're gonna get too happy, I must tell you that this is in in a baby stage still. It's, it's still very, you know. You will not be able to do each and everything and what you will be able to do and what you will not be able to do that is what we're gonna see in this video okay so come a little bit closer okay there we are so um, here is the operating system and this is Android 10 it's uh, AOSP mixed with with lineage OS to get all the the sources and the codes right so um, This is a very speedy build Okay, I have no recent apps. Okay, that's correct. Oh What is this? Why is it why is it going to the recent apps? never understand this split screen okay never mind what we're gonna do I'm gonna first go to the settings and I'm gonna show you about the phone and here you can see it Android 10 for the Samsung Galaxy S4, the 9505. So um, the other models that are normally supported will it will as well work, but you will have a real problem and, and some other uh, little issues. Okay, and to show you that this is not some some tweaked uh, some tweaked Android. You can see that this is really Android 10. See that? If we go back and Linux OS, you will see that we have an amazingly new system here in front of us. It's beautiful, it's really nice. You see that? So this is Android 10. I'm gonna show you really fast how to install it and how it installs. Uh, we're gonna go into a recovery mode and this all that I'm showing now is just the same for the Samsung Galaxy S5 okay so I'm not gonna do two phone otherwise this video is gonna get way too long again my last video was 40 minutes crazy you know so you can go ahead and try it yourself. I will put the links out for you. Okay, so um, 
you must have to work install but you already know that uh, you did this before this is only for people that you know that know how to do these things you just do a normal wipe doesn't matter what ROM you are on I was on Android 9 I just do a normal wipe okie doke and then uh, we're gonna go home and say install and the file was on my micro SD card and there it is you can see it already lineage GFL text OTA English site this is created by developer site so site thumbs up bro really amazing work again and uh, very happy to read that you're gonna uh, work for at least one more year on this phone so yeah we the users with these phones will be guaranteed of having some update coming our way um, I must as well tell you that this system has the security patches from September so these are very recent uh, patches and the installing goes really nice okay I'm not gonna flash no mod on top of this I'm just gonna show you what you're gonna get and how it's gonna look and what it's gonna be when you install it there we go boom we're installed we could uh, as well install magisk uh, to root the system but i'm not gonna do that okay i'm just gonna you know leave it on on stock we're just gonna reboot i'm not gonna root it because i have no reason to root it and i don't know if you can remember but before when we flashed uh, a rom to the 9505 after the installing it would still take some time eh? it would take some time and now uh, just look at it just count three four five six seven eight nine ten and there it is you see that this is not uh, 10 minutes waiting or five minutes waiting after you know uh, installation of the os and uh, here you can see it <coughs> choose what you allow to exchange surface access I, I don't know what that is really it's all good i'm gonna hit next Uh, you can turn the cellular data on but the part must still be fixed okay please leave this on help improve lineage os can you please leave that on if you're going to install this rom okay so they can see what, what what the problems are with the rom and fix it so then when we get the update you know the thing will be even better so this is it android 10 for your samsung galaxy s4 the 9505 and i think as well some other models but i want you to go to the website of site and go read you know uh, what it's all about of course i will put the link for you so you can kind of see what it is um we can go ahead and connect to the internet and let me show you how you can set it up if you want to stay custom okay we're connected to the internet amazing so now um yeah if you're gonna get this rom there's no app installed uh, nothing maybe flashing of gaps will as well not work you know uh, so you will have to get along yourself find your way yourself so the best thing that i can advise you to do is just type in the search i don't even see the search where's the search no go away here you type apk pure apk pure yeah 
and then you go ahead and download this application and it's a little bit strange what I found out it's as if these guys are blocking this site okay so we're just gonna type in the search APK pure Dun, 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 dun. APK Pure File Manager. No. APK Pure Store. I want. Oh my god. The normal link is, is sending me to some ping file. Is that not crazy? Nah. No. It's all good. I think that the best thing that you can do is get a real browser I think that's the first thing that you should do Mozilla Firefox start with getting a browser a good browser if they did not block that one no I can download it okay that is amazing so Firefox is downloadable and then uh, yeah <laughs> I'm trying to to get APK pure to download but it's a little bit crazy start page you see that look if we hit on the download here it brings us to a ping file <laughs> this is crazy this is this link is is understood totally wrong it's as if we are not allowed to download the store anymore you see that that is stupid this is a link if i go to this site with firefox and i click that link that thing will download you see and these kinds of things I, I find out already I also saw that my mods are not uh, are not flashing anymore they're not working in Android 10 so I don't know what that is maybe Google blocked that maybe they didn't like me to create mods my mods were getting way too much attention according to these guys probably I don't know why they are scared for such a little person like me. Who am I? I'm nobody. I'm just a noob. So yeah, um, let me see, is Firefox in? Yes, it's in. So let's install it. Settings. Yes, you are allowed. Install. App is not installed. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I can as well not use another browser. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm not sure if this is an Android 10 uh, thing. But uh, we can find out really easy. We can always go for a second opinion here. This is as well Android 10. You see that? But this is on the Note 3. You see that this is as well Android 10 on the Note 3 with the EROM uh, launcher. And let me see. Oh, yeah. That's why I say always put the App Store in your, in your, in your ROM. Let me see if Firefox can be installed. Yes. So I'm gonna install Firefox. Gonna see if this is just something of the ROM or if it's something of Android 10. Because otherwise uh, I will not like Android 10. Huh? I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we will find new ways for everything that. Is getting blocked there are other ways even if you build a complete oh you see that wall still people will climb over that wall there are always people that can do these kinds of things you see that and that is including in android world 
So yeah. Um the S4 gladly I have my apps already. So what you could do is go to your computer. Uh, I have some apps that I can easily push into here. So let's see how these apps will install. Okay, so let's just um go to the phone and we can set the charging options to file transfer okay though and then this is the internal drive i think yes alrighty and here i have some applications that i would love to have on the phone what is this oh this is my home folder and I want this APK system in my download. Okay, so <laughs> I already had one there. So I'm copying this file to my downloads. You see that? It's unpacking it to the phone. <clears throat> so now that means if we have a file browser and gladly that is in the ROM we should be able to find yeah 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 not now I'm busy 9505 and then we should find the folder called APK APK system and we could start with installing the audio recorder install okay that one is installed we go on back German live TV install Probably I must redirect my uh, my mod to to data and not to system anymore. They got smart there at Android World e store. I'm gonna put in the e store immediately. done I want the XDA app so I can keep an eye on the next update for this phone the next update of site or maybe GTC is already working on, on, on this I'm sure they're gonna be the first one GTC team I love this these, these developers hey hey leave me alone no man can't you see I'm busy I can as well install the my root browser then I can look what is happening in there in the belly in the belly of Android 10 done um, world radio that is radio droid done Go on back. Um, YouTube, of course. YouTube, my platform. And this was powered by Parafron. These are just the applications for my mod. So I just unpack them and, you know, open camera. I'm not sure if the camera works. Could work. I don't know. done and then um, I don't have root installed yet let me install the iStore 
which APK Pure is baptized into the ice store by me. Let me see if it's, in, it's, it, it's installed. Okay, we installed more than enough. So I'm going to try the Bliss Launcher. Let me see if it works. Um, it doesn't have to be allowed. Uh, no, deny. And Tribuchet as well. And there we go. Beautiful. Nice. So now we have an iOS kind of looking device. Not really, because the launcher is from Android hand. It comes from Android. ROM Creators is their launcher, and I love it. There's nothing wrong with it. I love it. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, this all looks good. There you go, we installed some applications. Let's see if the camera works. Hey, we're back to the... Let's do Bliss always, okay? So, um, let's test out the camera. See if it works. Allow. Of course, allow. Allow. Oh, okay. Fail to open camera, maybe in use by other application. Oh, so camera not trabajo. Camera is not working. This thing is normally running the EROM. But maybe the camera is working. Wait, hold on. Sometimes you must use the camera that comes with. I didn't see in camera. No, there is, oh, here's the camera, of course, or is the, no, this is the, the screen recorder. Dang, I don't see no camera, so probably, what is this? Oh, calculator. So yeah, there's no camera, okay, and the open camera is as well not working. You could try, uh, there's another camera that you could try. Uh, what is it called again? I forgot the name. Uh, something with the F. Um, <sighs> I forgot about it. But I'm gonna test that out. But hey, we should not worry about camera not working. And so, this is already a whole uh, progression going on in 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 you no know, Android world, XDA world. I'm gonna skip this for now. Continue. Continue. And there you go, my device. You see that? ROMs, kernels, etc. Everything that you need to know about your device. So that's why this app should always be be in, in every custom ROM. Just like the e-store. This, this store here, from e, should always be in here. Always. I think you can use WhatsApp. So you could still make conversations with this thing over the Wi-Fi, okay, even though you cannot, uh, you cannot use your SIM card, you can still use WhatsApp, because you have Wi-Fi, so this is a little portable tablet that you have now, that you can use for this time that, uh, you know, these guys are still working to fix, uh, fix stuff in this, in this room, and this what I'm showing is exactly the same with the Android 5 ROM, eh? so don't get too excited guys, really, you know, um, yeah, don't get too excited, just put your number in there and you're gonna have WhatsApp and you can probably make phone calls, but let me see if the microphone works, because that's important as well for WhatsApp, test, testing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, hello, That sounds uh, more than reasonable, you know, more than good. Okay, uh, let's see if we can watch some live TV from ARD. For my German people, I, you know, always have this built-in in 
my GNU OS and in my Android. Oh yeah, it's playing. Shut up. So why is the screen so strange? Let's take a look at that, what that is. So probably we must put it on, let's put it on 360p. You see, if you're gonna put it on 360p, the video is good. You know, trust me, it doesn't really matter if this thing is full HD. Look, this is 360p. Is this not good? Huh? Is this not good? Tell me if this is not good. 360p. Look at, at, at the glitters at the woman's uh, face. You can see everything. So there's nothing wrong with 360p. Remember that when you're gonna watch a video or whatsoever, put it on 360p, otherwise it will not show good. I know that out of experience. Uh, YouTube and let's see if it works hello YouTube let's see if it works amazing look at that plays fine plays fine my man so you have a little pocket PC that you can play with thanks to uh, Mr. Side, and uh, yeah, you will have to install the applications yourself. Um, if you want me to share my mod pack, at least my, my application pack, so you can as well install it, just let me know. Okay, one of the apps that I would 100% install. Um, let's go back to my folders one of the apps that you should really install that is apk system apk system and that is um eye scanner eye scanner that is uh, from my romanian friends that's bit defender you know and uh, bit defender is very good really it's uh, a package that will scan your device oh wait <laughs> i was a little bit confused apologies for that uh, ladies and gentlemen i installed my my scanner radio but i've of course meant let me see where it is how did i call it security of course um road radio root browser open weather apps I store, I scanner, I magisk, I gray, German live TV, I store bit defender. It's just bit defender. I just want to install this. Install. Open. Accept. Allow. And let's do a scan. Of course, I can. Yes, we are connected to the internet. Start scan. There we go. It's gonna scan the complete uh, phone. And the, if there is some 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 crazy breach or malware installed, it's gonna let you know, eh? It's gonna let you know. and it will autopilot on the background so when you download stuff it will immediately detect uh, if the thing is, is 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 not proper if it's some virus or some some malware or whatsoever it will find out you see it's going through all the applications and everything that is on the phone including the sd card This is a very good scanner and uh, yeah if you think it's not good then you must let me know why it's not good okay because in my belief bit defender is good since i know them way back in what was it 1997 or 98 when uh, an israeli friend of mine 
you know, send me Bitdefender. And since then, in fact, I'm uh, I'm using it, and it always helped me to find all sorts of viruses. It's really, really good. At least I think. Again, if you think that it's not good, then you must let me know, right? So now I have the phone uh, kind of set up the way I like it, and everything is working just as expected. This is the police scanner. They're not talking now, but it works. Trust me, it works. So, yeah, that's it, uh, my friends. So, uh, yeah. Android 10 is, is out there for you for the S4, including the S5, the KLTE. There is a Android build. But hey, guys, really, uh, it's not ready yet. And, uh, yeah, probably you won't be able to make phone calls. I'm not even sure if I have a SIM card in here. You see that? It immediately quits. So it's not even saying new SIM card installed. So that part is is not uh, is not working yet. But uh, the rest is, is pretty good. Um, yeah, about the camera. Uh, so if you depend on camera, then probably you must stay on Android 9. But if you want to impress your friends that you already have Android 10 on your uh, Samsung Galaxy S4, go ahead and uh, yeah, install it and, and test it out. Uh, you saw how I installed it. It was very easy. If you already have a high build of Android installed, uh, it's, it's, it's just a matter of doing a simple wipe and, and install the software and, and go play with it. Uh, in no way you should be using it uh, as your daily driver because that's not possible. Phone is not working. So if you depend on, uh, on, 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 yeah on on your s4 then before doing this i would make a backup first in 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 um in in the recovery in twerp make a backup before you're gonna flash this rom so you can you know afterwards go back and use the thing the normal way again that was it thank you site way too long video again but yeah i must show the thing if i don't show it then you don't know so now we know that the camera is not working and uh, some other stuff is not working such as you know making phone calls but hey you can install whatsapp and and the microphone uh, records so yeah i think that whatsapp will work just fine you know i can put in the same card and test it in, in some other video but you can go ahead and test it yourself you know go ahead and 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 play with it uh, leave developer side you know leave him a thumbs up there you know a thank you uh, if you have a credit card or paypal or whatsoever send him something to encourage him that he feels good you know and then you know you're gonna keep keep working on the rum that's just how it is you know if we make him feel good then we can expect everything to happen and probably very soon uh, we will as well have um, how you say that uh, Android 10 for the Samsung Galaxy S3 because we have other uh, crazy guys there at XDA and these guys they don't play you know they, they, they sit one Sunday and they play and they copy some you know things and the thing is up and running you know with credits to a whole lot of people of course that are involved in that project so these are not just copycats you know i'm talking about the good developers these are guys that work together credit each other you know uh, help each other so keep up the good work there all you xda developers remember as well check out e and see if you guys can you know get a deal with e that you can get the e store in your rooms branded you know branded in that you can get uh, maybe I don't know just go talk to E and see what E can as well do for you guys so you can make the ROMs uh, even more usable you know so out of the box you can immediately start installing things and that you're not like me first have to go to the internet and then try to download and you click on a link and then you get the PNG because probably the system don't want you to download APK pure I don't know maybe it was programmed that way I always feel it that way when these things you know are showing signs of you know yeah then i always get suspicious and then i think hey somebody uh, changed something there so i cannot do it anymore 
and it was very important to me that I could, you know, flash my mods, but now I cannot flash my mods anymore, so that is now closed. So I will have to talk to my Indian developer and ask him how I must do it now on the Android 10. Maybe I must change some lines, you know, not flash to system anymore, but to the data folder. Yeah, I don't know. So we'll have to see about that. If you know about that, contact me at all time. You know, you can find me on Facebook as well. Um, I have a Puck Darlington with two N's at the end. Uh, just just type my name and you will find me on Facebook. Contact me and, and let me know what you can do uh, for, for Channel 48 so I can continue with showing uh, beautiful things to you, the Android custom users world. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next video. And... I sign out with peace out.